place value through the millions. As you see here, here is a place value table. And I'm going to go ahead and place a number into this place value table. This number is 672,031,506, where each of those digits has a different value. Each of those digits has a different value based on where it is in the number. This has more periods than the other um, numbers that you're probably familiar with. We had talked about the ones period and the thousands period already. Now we're adding the millions period in there so that we have larger numbers. Like this number again, 672,031,506. Here I have another number written into that place value chart. And then so you concentrate on each of the periods. So in this millions period, we have 8 to 7, which is pronounced 827. So this number, if we need to say it, would be 827,601,038. What digit is in the hundred thousands place? Obviously the six. What digit is in the ten millions place? The two. What is this eight worth in the number? It's worth 800 million. So sometimes using a place value table or a place value chart really helps you understand a little bit more about the number. What digit are in the millions period? What digits are in the millions period? This is the millions period. So we have the digits 8 to 7. Let's look at some more of these numbers, this time without a place value table. So this number right here is written in standard form. I might ask you to read the number, I might ask you to write it in word form, or write it in some other ways as well, for instance, expanded notation. If I asked you to read this number, concentrate on the periods. So this is the first period in this number, where we've written the numbers 6 and 5. And so if we just look at those numbers 6 and 5, we know that 6 and 5, when we put those two together, we say that's 65. So that's 65 million, 31, 285. I might ask you how many digits are in this number. You would tell me that there are eight digits in that number. Here I've written that out into word form. The other thing that I want to mention about these numbers is that there are usually three digits in each of the periods. So you have to be really careful. So for instance, this is 31,000, and the way you write 31,000 is as follows. You put a zero in the hundred thousand place because there would not be any hundred thousands in this number. And then you write 31. So the zero is a placeholder. Again, it's 65 million, 31,285. This is the word form of this number here. This here is the expanded notation, and I might be asked to write it back into um, standard form, which would just be the numbers. And then so I look for the largest number there, and I have one that's worth 200 million. So I'm going to go ahead and write a 2 there in the 100 millions place. Now in the 10 millions place, there's no numbers to put, so I put a 0. In the millions place, I recognize that the 8 would be worth 8 million. And that's why this here goes right there within the number. Next, I look at the thousands period. And then the thousands period, I have two numbers. It's just 73,000. And the way I write 73,000 is as follows. I write it as 073 because there are no hundred thousands within this number. Finally, I have 26. How would I write 26 as that last part of my number? I would write it as 0. Two, six. Even looking at my number, it looks right because there are three digits in each of those periods. That's 208,073,026. Where each of those digits correspond to each of those values. 
Here I'm given that number in standard form. And it might ask me to go ahead and write that back in um, expanded notation. And to do so, it's just what it is that I'd written before. And then so if I'm writing it back in expanded notation, what I need to do is I need to figure out what each of those digits is worth. What is the value of that 3? The value of the 3 is what? 30 million. So that's what I write first. Then I put a plus sign. That 6 is worth what? 6 million. The 8 is worth what? Sure, it's in the hundred thousands place, but it is worth 800,000. And then we continue from there as well. With the 7 being worth 70,000, the 5 being worth 5,000, since there's nothing in the hundreds place, you don't write anything, and then you do write the 10 plus the 2 as well. Since there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 digits that are not zeros there for that number, there should be 7 add-ends for my expanded notation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, you try. Go ahead and write this number here in expanded notation. Hit pause while you're working, please. Write it in expanded notation. Remember, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 add-ends for your expanded notation. Okay, hopefully you started with 300 million and then ended up with 70 million plus 8 million. That 1, then, is worth 10,000, the 2 is worth 2,000, and then we have plus 600, plus 1. Check your work. Here's another one for you to try. I want you to write this number here in standard form. Remember, for the most part, there should be three digits in each of the periods of the number. The only one that won't have three digits will be the first part of this number because it says 62 million. There's no hundred millions digit. Hit, place, hit pause while you write out that number in standard form. Remember, you're just writing out those numbers. Okay, in the millions period, it says 62 million. So we just write the digit 62. Then it says 301,000. So 301, 301. Finally, it says 827, so we write the numbers 827. And as you see, as I was mentioning, there's three digits in each of those periods besides that first one. Again, read that number again. It says 62,301,827, which is what the word form was right here. Okay, there's no reason to get scared when the numbers get bigger. This here is still the ones period. This here is still the thousands period. And we just added another period, where we call this the millions period. And so those are the different periods. Thinking of those different periods, the seven is in the what place? That's in the 10 millions place. What digit is in the thousands place? It would be the 6 right here. What's this 3 worth in that number? What is the value of that 3? The value is 300 million. Could you read that number for me? <laughs> I mean this number right here. That's 378,206,000. 183. Say it again. 378,206,183. So just because a number gets bigger does not make it any different than any other numbers. Writing it is about the same. You just have to maybe do a little bit more work.